I'm really proud to be able to work with people to get them into stable, safe housing. We've got the resources to be able to address homelessness, but also we've got the support that's it's a long-term support model. Um, just because we house someone, it doesn't mean that we stop working with them, is that we've got the rest of the time to try and build a bit of stability and support clients to get that structure around them to hopefully prevent the cycle of um, homelessness reoccurring. I think I'd got my first client maybe August and then pretty much like by mid August we'd had them in their permanent housing you know a lot of the clients that we've worked with have been through a lot of different services and systems before that they that they're most vulnerable so to come in and say or promise the world it was really good to be able to follow through in what we said that we would be able to do so that's probably a highlight for myself but I guess also a testament to the program around what we're actually able to achieve and so quickly It was really exciting to hear that news. It, it's just exciting that it's now finally getting the recognition from state government to roll that program out in the future um, with the backing from state government because it's, it's a very evidence-based program and we've been doing this work with the mission for a very long time. I know 3.1 have some really great outcomes. I think they're almost sitting at about 100% of people in stable housing at the end of three years. So that, yeah, that's amazing. And I know 3.2 are, uh, I think they're about 97% of people in stable housing. It shows that we can get the outcomes that we say that we can get, but it also shows that the model that we do and the way that we roll out the program works for people. Sacred Heart are, are, are really proactive in encouraging people to contact their local MPs. Definitely that's, that's the channel through to the state government to try and put more resources into homelessness services. Even if you come across someone who is experiencing homelessness, just giving them the time of day, like a little hello or, you know, it, it goes a long way for people that are so isolated and so vulnerable that often just get so much bad stigmatization around their current situation that uh, a little hello or a little acknowledgement can go a long way.